Today on The Flush, we're road tripping through South Dakota, hunting with landowners that farm their ground for wild pheasants. We just might have found South Dakota's birdiest fields. Take it all in, you may never get to see anything better than this. <laughs> The Flush, presented by Federal Premium Ammunition and Peasants Forever. In 1943, the state of South Dakota officially named the ringneck pheasant their state bird. Shortly after, America's bird hunters unofficially declared the state as the pheasant hunting capital of the world. In South Dakota, there's a simple pheasant hunting equation. Habitat on the ground equals pheasants in the air. On the Havlick family farm near Kimball, South Dakota, there's a healthy amount of both. Matt and his brother Jason farm their land for both row crops and wild birds. It's a Tetris piece like I told you earlier with the property we have. Corn and soybeans mixed with blue stem, cattails, and shelter belts. I like to call it a little piece of heaven, it's where I love to be. They also like to share this place with family and friends. So what we do here, guys, is we're going to walk this grass from the west to the east. We'll walk at an angle, and then when we get to the L, we'll straighten it out and come straight east. You think we're going to see a pheasant in there? I think it's a better chance than average. <laughs> <laughs> Is it 10 o'clock yet? At 10 a.m. sharp. You guys ready? All right. We hit the grass. There might be something here. At 10.01. Hey! Pheasants hit the air. Good job, Thor. Good boy. Hey! 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 hey. Whoa, look at him get up ahead of us. That's a rooster. rooster. Rooster! Oh boy. Oh my gosh, look at this place. How did we not get that one, boys? Rooster! Watch it, watch where it goes. We'll get that one. Rooster! Oh wow. Roosters! Oh my, oh my goodness! They're going out that way, they're going out this way, they're going out everywhere. Yeah, there's too many call. Oh, there it is, right there. Look at that. Yeah, good boy, Thor. We went to found that one. Good boy. That's Thor, Matt Havlick's four-year-old Labrador retriever. He's a jack-of-all-trades hunting dog, but he loves to retrieve pheasants more than anything. He'll point, but like my trainer said, is he's not a pointer, he's hunting with style. Matt's brother Jason also hunts with style. <laughs> what do you got? What is that? You like to give him a, a chance. A chance, huh? It's obvious where Jason invests his money. We got a lot of trees, and then we got the big blue stem, we got the CRP, we got the nesting covered, we got dams that we built. They save their best acres for corn and soybeans. Yep, help pay for all of it. And whoa. Good girl, Daisy. I'm a hunter, that's what I do. And that's what his dad did too. Rooster! My dad did the very first CRP, I think it was 1986. Pan, good job, Thor. I'm getting my kids into it and everything, and it's just a tradition that's passed down over the years. Pan! Wouldn't have it any other way. The Havlick family hunting tradition aligns perfectly with Pheasants Forever's mission. Rooster! Nice shot, Hunter. That's why Hunter Schwind and his family 
traveled across the country to walk these fields. That's awesome. Pheasants Forever was doing an online auction and it said four days, to South Dakota, the flush, a gun, prairie store, onyx maps, like everything I do. And it just fell into my lap. Hunter placed the highest virtual bid to secure his dream hunt. Just a great opportunity. An opportunity created to support Pheasants Forever's mission after their banquets were canceled by COVID-19. Four day trip to like the best of South Dakota pheasant hunting all with Pheasants Forever biologists, guys who know the land, just the best of the best. The Havlicks raised their hands in support of conservation. I just thought it'd be cool. Hunter invited his dad, Rob, and brothers Noah and Jordan to join him on the pheasant hunt of a lifetime. Oh, look at him go. Oh. Hen! Hen! Jeez. First one, it was great. Like me shooting. <laughs> Rooster! My brother missed a couple times, and then I had to back him up as usual. It's incredible. I think they said they have, you know, 2,000, 3,000 birds on property. All of them 100% wild. <laughs> That's a ton. Rooster! <laughs> See that white dog right there? She smells something. We're only halfway through day one, but well on our way to flushing more than a thousand wild birds. The Flush is brought to you by Federal Premium Ammunition, North Dakota Tourism, Waltons, Benelli, Ruffland Performance Kennels, and by Nutrisource. Get ready guys, right here in front of us. Daisy just stopped. Hen, hen. Oh, hen. Did you step on that one? Almost. There goes, Brewster. Good girl, Daisy. There are some places that just seem too good to be true. Well done, well done. That's why I like to shoot the prairie storms because when they drop, they're usually dead. Oh, man, what a bird. Yeah. That was cool. The Havlick Family Farm near Kimball, South Dakota is one of those places. When you come out here, all your cares just go away. You're out in God's country. For more than 30 years, the Havlicks have groomed their property to grow wild birds. Rooster! Nice shot. Oh, Rooster! A lot of guys come out here and they just, they show up and they think it's a great hunt and they don't realize what it takes during the summer with all the spraying and all the work that we put into it. It's taking a slow mo walk, man. The fruits of their labor quite literally fly all around us. Holy crap, look at him go. Look at him go. Hen, hen. That's a rooster. I manage it for hunting, obviously. This land can make old bird dogs look spry. There's a point. And turn a young pup into a seasoned vet. Be a rooster. There goes rooster. Good girl, honey. Good girl. Yeah! Good job, honey! This place is just amazing. I have to keep asking, is this a lodge or is this like, this is really how they keep their property? Because it's just managed so well. Oh, hen! Right at your feet. Good girl, Mona, come on. Family and friends, that's it. Oh, hen! Woo! <laughs> Heart attack right there. Rooster! Every single field we're going into, it's just 50 birds, 100 birds, up and down. Head! Just can see how managing the land is holds birds. Oh, rooster! So rewarding. The Schwins have never experienced a hunt quite like this. Nothing, ever. But in all honesty, few hunters have. I'm born and raised in Ohio. 
We're just public land hunters that uh, all of a sudden have this wonderful opportunity. Rooster! How did we not get that? Rooster! What is our problem? <laughs> this is some of the worst shooting I've ever seen, myself included. Oh, we miss plenty of gimmies. Hey! But the opportunities just keep coming. Oh, there they go, there they go. Oh, man! Good girl, Daisy. That was awesome. Oh, she's got a point right here. Hen! No bird! Hen! Hen! Whoa! Whoa! Rooster! Good shot. I can't put it into words. Hen! Hen! It's this magnificent piece of habitat that you just don't see where we come from in Ohio. In a single day, we flush more than 1,000 wild birds. There it goes, Rooster! There'd be more here. Rooster! Yeah, he's too many count. Good job, Thor! All right, buddy! Woo! -hoo. It's not how you start, it's how you finish. This farm defines South Dakota's iconic pheasant hunting experience. My dog flushes it, I shoots it, he retrieves it and brings it back. You can't get any better than that. That's the best part. Oh, there goes Rooster! <laughs> Look at the feathers. It never gets old. It never gets old. Good job, bud. It just feels so rewarding. Nice shot. Whoa, look at them all, look at them all. Belle's got it. Here, Belle. <laughs> She's running with it in her mouth. She still wants to hunt. Well done. That's my third one. That's a South Dakota limit. Look at them all, look at them all, look at them all. This is what you dream of, Rob. Take it all in. You may never get to see anything better than this. <laughs> oh, man. The bar set pretty high on day one. Somehow, we plan to raise that bar even higher tomorrow. The Flush is brought to you by North Dakota Tourism, Big Timber Fasteners, Thoroughgood Boots, Sage and Breaker, Truxedo, and by Aluma Trail. This segment of The Flush is brought to you by North Dakota Tourism. Plan your journey at NorthDakotaLegendary.com. The more I travel, the more I appreciate life's pace on the prairie. At Wessington Springs Sweetgrass Bakery, we bond over a pre-hunt cup of joe. We're gonna bunch some birds out. They're gonna come out quick. You're gonna have a lot of fun with your dogs. Darwin Wheeldryer chairs his community's Pheasants Forever chapter. In his free time, he creates wildlife habitat on his family farm. This is property my parents founded in 1952. And uh, my mom died in 1999 and my dad followed in 2003. And uh, this land was basically a gift to them. Darwin's parents taught their kids to cherish this gift and respect the land. If you're just smart, you can manage it, you can make money off it, and then at the end of the day, you can enjoy it with your family and friends. Okay, so here's the FSA map of the property. We're gonna go up here to this first old CRP block. We're gonna walk it north to south, and we're gonna push this CRP back up to here, and we're gonna walk it east. We hit right here, there's a little six acre honey hole. If there ain't pheasants in there this morning. We might as well go home. We can go home. <laughs> Bare hands, he's a tough man. Badass or dumbass, one of the two. <laughs> They're a handful. Darwin invited us to hunt on his family farm thanks to our commitment to Pheasants Forever's mission. I said, if they've made a donation and a contribution to Pheasants Forever, they're welcome onto my property. We'd love to have them. All right. In a light dusting of snow, our hunt begins 
the same way yesterday's ended. Be ready here, Rob. Daisy's uh, quite a bit birdie. Rooster! Hey, all right. On the board. Game on. Good job, Mona. She did good. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. That's the power of a good dog right there. Actually, Mona's a great dog. She's Hunter Schwinn's five-year-old Bracco Italiano. Mona's the middle-aged dog in Hunter's three-pack of female Braccos. Italian women, yeah, so I've got three Italian women that I had to deal with. I'm not sure about Mona's manners at home, but out here, she's a perfect angel. You know, I dumb lucked into the breed, and I love them. Not as tough as I look. His dad, Rob, also loves his six-year-old wire-haired Griffon, Tess. Kind of slow like me, you know, methodical. Rooster! Go bird. My nine-month-old German short-haired pointer and English setter mix add speed to our team, flying through the grass like a streak of white lightning. There's something running through this field right now. It feels like nothing should escape. Heavy scent, heavy scent. That bird's moving, whatever it was. But wild birds usually do. There it goes. That bird's running all along. That's right, he's gonna sit down right in that switchgrass. We'll get him. Hey, rooster! Nice shot, Hunter. No way, that cannot disappear in this grass. Travis, I've seen it a million times. Pheasants are tough. They both pounced on it. And elusive. If you hunt them long enough, you'll know this feeling. Please be there. She's on it, isn't she? It's a wild bird. It's had to survive since day one out in the wild, and he did everything right to make the right shot, the right kill. And yet, sometimes they simply escape. Well, sometimes you get lucky, too. In a matter of seconds, our luck turns. Rooster! Woo! <laughs> Mona! Dead bird, come on. Come on, Mona. Dead! Head! Head! Darwin's honey hole certainly lived up to the hype. Thanks, Darwin. Darwin put me in the right spot. Feels awesome. For an old man, this beautiful roosters. You can call it a trip right now, couldn't you? After oh, we could end it here, but we won't. Darwin saved the best walk for last. Pheasants Forever remains committed to protecting and restoring America's wildlife habitat. Join Pheasants Forever today and your $35 membership will help us to create healthy habitat, cleaner water, and abundant wildlife. Your investment will make a difference today that will last forever. Winter in South Dakota's bird country can be beautiful and at times downright brutal. Today, we get the weather that most pheasant hunters only dream of. Hey, girl, Mona. I can't believe it's the middle of December. It's beautiful. Hey! Head. There goes the rooster. Rooster! The wind has settled, and a steady snow creates a postcard-worthy scene. The grass is phenomenal. The food plots, the shelter belts, they're all like a chess piece, just perfectly placed. On top of that, these wild birds are holding tight. Rooster! Looks like Mona's got it. Good girl. Oh, thank you. Good girl. There you go, buddy. Nice rooster. Great retrieve. <laughs> yeah, big mature bird. All right, I'll see you on the other side. Boom. <laughs> we know what plant of birds are. This ain't it. Yeah, these are 100% organic wild, and we're proud of that. Never been a release bird on this property. Darwin's proud, as he should be, with his family's blessing. He's built a bird hunting paradise. It's special to us. Thanks to his generosity, it's now special for us, too. Good shot. That's not what they're pointing at. There's a the bird. Head! Woo! 
it's uh, more than a bucket list. It's a wonderful, wonderful opportunity. An opportunity created by families committed to conservation. It's just a passion that burns in you. Hunter Schwinn bid on a bird hunt. He and his family received an experience they may never top. For them to make time, we must be able to do it together. It just feels like everything came together. It's so special. I hope they appreciate it. I know, I know they do, but now the bar is going to be so high. It'll always be compared to South Dakota. Pheasant forever. Yeah. The flush. Give. Oh, there you go. Is that sweet? That was so sweet. Daisy was on Let's... just a solid point right by my feet. Oh, man. Look at this right now. We're in pheasant heaven. I don't know if it gets better, man. No. It's sweet. <laughs> I can't express enough gratitude for the thanks that have a chance out here. First serve. Hunting for two days in the pheasant capital of the world. Rooster! We may have just experienced the best of the best. And they lived up to the hype. And to think, Hunter's South Dakota family road trip still has two days left. One, two, three, rooster. Rooster. <laughs> wow, what a place. <laughs>